Jessica Lemazurier has this report from New York. Two months ago, Shawnee Benton's daughter Shamani died suddenly. Just 30 years old, she died of a pulmonary embolism a fortnight after giving birth to a baby boy. This is the only picture of them, the entire family together. So a few days before she transitioned, there was a concern about like her breathing and she felt okay the next two days. And then she had the emergency situation at the house where they live. And she ended up going into cardiac arrest at the house. And then we know how it ended. Like within 12 hours, she was gone. Shimani was taken by first responders to the local hospital. The hospital she was in is one of those hospitals that does not get the resources and the funding put into it like other hospitals do. They did a great job with her, but I, it's in my mind that they didn't have what they needed. It doesn't make sense. She should be here. They, whoever has been taken like this, should be here. Or whoever's been in the hospital and struggled for life. They should be able to walk free and do what they need to do to care for their babies. If Shimani had been white, would she have survived? That's the question that haunts her family. Because in the US, the rate of maternal mortality is three times higher for black women than it is for white. That's according to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. And in New York, the situation is even worse. The risk is eight times higher. <laughs> Black women of all backgrounds are affected, even those like Shamani, who are well-educated and have good health care coverage. Medical researchers say the root of the problem is racism. Racism was baked into the, really, the DNA of this country. And since then, every policy has reflected that history, including the myth that uh, black people don't experience pain like white people, which affects people who are going to give birth and are complaining of pain or may have a complication that is not taken as seriously because simply of the color of their skin. Last year, New York City launched an initiative to reduce maternal deaths among black women. Amongst the measures, more funding for certain hospitals and more training for medical staff to make sure they don't have racial prejudices. The city is also working with doulas like Chanel Portia, who is based in Brooklyn. A mother of six, Chanel trains doulas to provide childbirth support to pregnant women at affordable rates. We have to start to trust ourselves, to trust our bodies, to trust our autonomy and our agency and our own power and understand that you have rights and no one can take those rights away from you. It's your body. The issue of maternal mortality among black women has been raised in the 2020 presidential campaign with Democratic candidates Bernie Sanders, Elizabeth Warren and Joe Biden saying it's time to address the epidemic.